Good morning, afternoon, or evening, dear yogis. Welcome to our Echo Yoga channel. So happy to have you here with me and my friends. She's in yoga studio here in Sawana, in uh, Nazawa Onsen in Japan. And I'm really excited to also announce that I will be running a yoga retreat, a snowboarding and yoga retreat here next year. And probably in the upcoming years as well, Japan has got a very special place to me. So this space will be um, a container for some beautiful individuals around the world. And if you are desiring to practice yoga and snowboard during the snowboarding season, definitely check out the website for future dates. So today's practice, we've got some props in the studio, which is nice. I don't always have props. I have two blocks. I have one underneath my seat, one here, and a bolster. If you don't have blocks at home, don't stress. You don't need to use them. But you can also pause the video and go find some ample books that uh, could give you some structure as blocks and maybe a couch cushion or a pillow from your bed just to make the practice a little bit more comfortable. So today's practice in, in theme for me at the moment is transitory, our transitions and how we move from point A to B. And for so many of us in this overstimulated world and this word that I heard the other day that I really appreciate that gives context and, and um, a heaviness in a way, some depth to what I've been experiencing is the word overculture. And this, there's something else used in psychology that uh, talks about, you know, kind of this, this overhanging energy that kind of sets above us. And we go out into the world and we interact with many, many people each day. The ones of us in the city are, you know, moving around so many nervous systems, maybe even thousands of nervous systems in one day. And there can be this overarching anxiety that lives in the air. And overculture is a word for, you know, global society's collective consciousness in a way, and how we are influenced by the overculture, how we're influenced by that overhanging energy in the world. And so this practice is about really just coming into our individuation, our differentiation. And complexity theory, you know, states that we become stronger when we have differentiation, when we have subjective experience, meaning when we each as individuals have differentiation, us as a system, when that's allowed, we become stronger in complexity because we create connectivity from the complexity, from the differentiation. And so even though at times it feels like we're being pulled to, to be the same and to replicate, it's important that we come back to ourselves and that we learn to connect in our individuation, our differentiation. So that being said, Let's start sitting on our block or our bolster. You can close the eyes down. Relax the muscles in the forehead and around the jaw. Take some jaw circles, just releasing any tension you might have here. And just taking a moment to settle into silence. So I gave you lots of words as we began. Let that go. Come into breath. Equal inhalations and exhalations through the nostrils and just arrive in your body. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center, nice and slow. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to the heart. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inviting in an intention for your practice, large or small, you can simply be presence. And especially today in this idea of overculture, when we're pulled 
with the overarching theme, can you remain present to what you're feeling in your individual body today? Tune into the magic of yourself. So open the eyes. Welcome to your practice. And we are going to take those two blocks. And we're going to, and again, you can use props in a different way. If you have two blocks, you're going to bring the blocks skinny ways between the shoulder blades. If you're using couch cushions, just bring the, the pillow right to the base of the spine and you're going to lie down on that pillow. If you have the block between the shoulder blades, you're going to bring the other block or pillow behind the head. And then we can let the knees fall out. We're not going to use the bolster for now. And the bolster isn't a way to just do something a bit more supportive and not so intense for the body. So if you want just the bolster at the base of the spine, you can do that as well. So for here, my hips are feeling really sore today. So I'm just going to cross the ankles closer to my groin. You also are invited to do this. And you could take one block down lower as well under the head. So we're opening up the heart space, let the arms come out. And if it's too much for the hips to be open, you can always straighten the legs. I had a snowboarding incident the other day, and so I've got a sore sacrum today. So I will modify as I move through the practice, but if you want to go deeper, you are always welcome. So we allow the heart to open, the arm lines here that work with the lungs and the grief. Peel the chest up, slowly coming up. Move the blocks off to the side and take your bolster or your couch cushion. And you're going to bring it to the base of the spine. Bend the knees, plant the feet about hip width distance apart. So you want to have space between the feet. This is important. Knees fall to the left. We're turning behind us. Pull the bolster into the left hip crease and lay the chest down. Coming into a nice passive twist. And you might want to take your right cheek to the bolster to twist a bit. I'm going to keep my right. Uh, I'm going to be facing to the right just so I don't muffle our speaker here and you can hear me well and we're just letting our heart really ground into the bolster here beneath us feeling the support of the passive twist and this could be really nice to lengthen the side bodies and release any tension in the gut so if we have any digestive issues going on this is a nice passive twist the chest up come back through center switch sides so the knees fall over to the right turn back behind pull the bolster into the right hip crease lay the chest down let your cheek rest and heart is just grounding into the bolster so this is a slow practice slowing us down really grounding in with the earth today And let the periods of silence leave you with the breath. So staying focused on the breath. Maybe if the mind begins to wander, you can say in the mind one on the inhale, two on the exhale, and just continue back and forth. One, two, one, two. Stillness and silence here.
peel the chest up and turn forward. Bring the bolster in front of you. And we're gonna take the feet, legs go nice and straight. <clears throat> and the bolster is gonna be your friend for modification if you need it. So you can have a unicorn horn here. And as you exhale, just fold in forehead to the top of the bolster or to your pillow or cushion. If you can go a little bit deeper, you can bring the pillow down on the legs, folding in, and maybe even using a block on top of the bolster to go deeper. So we're all gonna have different edges. Try to keep your spine straight. So if you're curving a lot, come out a little bit and stay up higher if you need to. If you can go a little bit lower, keeping the integrity of the spine, go for it. Lengthening through the back line. In stillness and silence, notice where the mind goes. Come back into the mantra of the breath. Counting one and two. And peel the chest up. Bring the bolster and the blocks off to the side. Bend the knees, plant the feet. Bring the fingertips behind you, tracking forward. Lift the hips up, relax the head back. Reverse tabletop. Lengthening through the sides of the arms, opening the heart space and really push the hips up. Use the top of the thighs, so the quadriceps here. And slowly bring the hips down. Cross the ankles, come forward onto the knees. And tuck the toes under, sit back onto the heels, our favorite pose, toe squat. So sitting up nice and tall. Nice and long through the spine, you can find a focal point forward. Close the eyes down. Let the heat rise in through the ankles, even through the discomforts. You can stay. Use your breath to come into calm space. Let's take an inhale, reach up. Come to standing on the knees. Hands behind the hips, thumbs tracking towards the center. Peel the chest up, begin to look up, inhale. And exhale, nose pointing up towards the sky. Push the heart up. You can stay here or bring the right hand to the right heel, left hand to the left heel. Open the heart space. Push up, up, up. Nice big heart opening, front line opening. Continue to breathe. Take an inhale. And exhale, slowly come up. Untuck the toes, sit the hips back towards the heels, forehead to the earth, arms alongside the body. Child's pose with the chest setting on top of the thighs, compression. A nice soothing posture. When we are anxious or feeling numb, dissociated, this is a beautiful posture to do to just feel the support of the, sol the solid earth beneath the forehead and the legs. The pressure of the heart into the thighs allows us to just feel heavy for a moment, held. Slowly coming up onto all fours. Turn the fingers back towards the knees. We're gonna get into the wrists a little bit. And just begin to draw tiny circles here. You'll feel this in the forearms. And if you need to move the arms, the hands a little bit closer towards the knees, if this is too tense for your forearms, do so. It's 
Let's move in the opposite direction. Come back through center. Let's take some regular cat and cows here. Inhale, allow the belly to drop. Look forward. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Take your time. Inhale, belly drops. Look forward. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly drops. Exhale, round the spine. Inhale, belly drops. And exhale, round the spine. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Pause in the exhale. Keep rounding the upper back. Exaggerate. Come back to neutral. Bring your bolster or your pillow in front of you. And we're going to walk the hands in front of the pillow. So the forearms are on the pillow. Let the head drop down and keep the knees and the hips in line together. And a Hatasana heart melting pose with the arms supported, letting the heart melt down towards the ground. Again, you'll notice the energetic theme of the practice today. A lot of hearts coming towards the earth. Really beautiful postures for anxiety, dissociation, overwhelm. Our bodies are quite resilient, but also so fragile, so sensitive to the overculture, the world around us. It's important to come back to ourselves, to center, to breathe, to be. It's coming back up. Bring the bolster off to the side, hands to the air, tuck the toes, press back, downward facing dog. <clears throat> Pressing the heels towards the earth, palms into the earth. And we're more static today, so sometimes we pedal it out. If you really want to pedal, go for it. But just allowing the hands and the feet to really ground with the earth, press the heels energetically into the ground. If you need a micro bend in the knees, take it. We lengthen through the back line. Let's slowly walk the hands towards the feet. So coming to the back of the mat, take your time nice and slow. As you come to the back of the mat, take opposite elbows. Ragdoll here from side to side, forward and back. And come into stillness. Let the arms just hang here as you hold the elbows. Let the neck relax. Let the back line of the legs grow long. And something extraordinary happens when we do ordinary things, when we really tune into the breath, when we let go. Presence stops time. So efforting less here, relaxing, listening to your breath. One and two, one and two. Hands to the earth. Inhale, slowly begin to roll up, press into the feet. As you come up, a little bounce in the knees. A little bounce in the shoulders. Moving from side to side. Again, you can shut the eyes down. Nothing to see here, just feeling. Flick the hands a little bit, releasing any stuck energy. Maybe the heels come off the ground and then hit the ground. And let the head sway from side to side. Any sound that wants to come out of the mouth, anything that needs to release.
last little shakes here, maybe a little bit more dynamics, like the hands overhead. Shake everything, get a little twerk to the booty. Let it move through the body and come into stillness. Close the eyes. Feet pressing into the earth, standing up nice and tall through the spine. Relax the shoulders, relax the necks, necks, neck as if you have two necks. <laughs> relax the muscles in the forehead and the jaw. Open the eyes, inhale, reach up. Exhale, press the energy down through center so fingertips are not touching. We're just coming slowly through center like we're pushing a ball of light down. Let's inhale, reach up. Exhale, press the energy down. Up, inhale. Exhale down. Relax the hands hovering just right beneath the navel. You can imagine light coming from the navel into the palms, the dantian here, this energy center in the belly. Close the eyes. Take an inhale, scoop the energy up to the heart, palms together. Exhale. May we learn to stand with more ease, confidence and grace in who we are and who we are not. May we be self-led. May we step forward into the unknown with less certainty but trust and surrender. Namaste, bowing down to the earth. So, thank you, thank you, dear yogis, for being here. And feel free to pause the video, lay down, ground, listen to music, just be with self and feel free to subscribe. Um, new videos coming out each week, more guest teachers on the way. And you can see down below all the upcoming uh, practices online and offline retreats, trainings, and different containers I'm offering. And I'm offering now one-on-one -on -one sessions as well, integration sessions that are a mixture of shadow work and parts work and somatic therapy. So really coming into the body, feeling what has not been felt and finding ways to integrate more fully with the mind, the body, and the heart. So thank you for being here. Hope to have you here again and welcome to our little space here in Japan. Have a beautiful day.